In this lesson, I'll show you how to decompose a vector into two orthogonal vectors. Keep in mind that we've done a video on the decomposition of vectors in the past, though this one goes into a little more detail. The question reads, let V, given these two components, and W equal to these two components. Determine the vector decomposition of V into orthogonal components, V sub 1 and V sub 2, where V sub 1 is parallel to W and V sub 2 is orthogonal to W. Essentially what they're asking here is to find the vector projection of V onto W. Let's begin by graphing the vectors. We'll use an XY plane and we'll start with vector V. Vector V has the components one and two. That lies in the first quadrant. One and two should be right here. Vector W has the components four and one, which also is found in the first quadrant. 4 and 1 is over here. Now they want us to decompose V so that it's broken down into two orthogonal components where V1 is parallel to W, so this is vector W, and V1 is parallel, so going like this, and V2 is orthogonal, meaning at 90 degrees. So another one going like that. And this one up here is V2. To find information about V1, we use the formula, the projection of V onto W is equal to V times W, the dot product, and underneath is the magnitude of W, raised to the power of two, multiplied to the vector W again. Let me fill this in. I have the dot product of one, and 2, and 4 and 1, that's at the top. At the bottom we need the magnitude of W, and the magnitude can be found using the Pythagorean theorem. So we have 4 to the power of 2 plus 1 to the power of 2, that's equal to the square root of 17, and we're raising that to the power of 2 because it's being squared. So we have 17 at the bottom, and that is being multiplied to the vector W. 4 and 1. Let's find the dot product of V and W. 1 times 4 is 4, that's for the x components, and 2 times 1 is 2. Adding this up, we get 6. So I have the scalar 6 over 17 times 4 and 1. We multiply the scalar to 4 and the scalar to 1, where we get 24 over 17 6 over 17. These are the components of V sub 1. That is approximately equal to 1.4 and 6 over 17 is approximately 0 0.35. So these are the coordinates of the point V sub 1. This is not to scale but if we were to scale you could see that it actually will lie on W. Now to find V sub 2 we use the relationship v sub 2 is equal to v minus v sub 1. So the components of v were 1 and 2, and the components of v sub 1, which we just found, are 24 over 17 and 6 over 17. The way you subtract vectors is you subtract the x components together and the y components together. So 1 minus 24 over 17, that's the new x component of v sub 2, and 2 minus 6 over 17. Let's go ahead and do that. So 1 minus, I'll use my calculator for the subtraction, negative 7 over 17, that's the new x component, and for this, 2 minus 6 over 17. It's always a good idea to put the fractions in parentheses. 28 over 17. These are the x and y components of the vector v sub 2. And I forgot to put these arrows up here, which I should have. And so there you have it. That is how to decompose a vector into two orthogonal vectors.